like everyone of you have seen the title that today's interview experience is going to be for which company right so for this today we are having shri with us who is an upcoming sg intern at jpmc and today she will be sharing her complete experience from applying to cracking such a good company so if you are also preparing for interviews for uh, for any product based companies or any technical interviews then this video is for you and if you want to listen watch more such interview experiences like interview experiences of flipkart google or microsoft so i have also uploaded the interview experiences of those companies on my channel so do check out those videos as well so without wasting our time let's get it started hi shelly first of all thanks for accepting my invite and coming here so how are you how is it going now i'm good how are you everything is going good i am also doing very really good so we love to know about your experience so first of all can you please introduce yourself like what was your college when it started and how you get into coding and all so my name is shrey gupta and i'm pursuing my engineering from thapar institute of engineering and technology patiala and i'm currently in my third year um, i have given my ensign right now and uh, i'll be interning at jp morgan chase and company this summer okay that's great so how did you started like first like whether you get into dsa or development um i got into coding in my first year of college um i explored web development uh, and in that i followed code with harry's playlist of web development and then i got into angela's use course which is very popular on udemy and uh, in my second year i got into dsa uh, from uh, following uh, the bubbers playlist on youtube okay so first you started with development and then when shifted to dsa yeah so from year. this so from the second year you continued development as well or you shifted completely to dsa i continued both at times because uh, keeping in pace with both the things is very important as you lose on concepts so mm. that is very important yeah correct So, how did you get to know about JP Morgan? Like, how did you land in your internship? Was it on campus opportunity or off campus? Um, it was an on campus opportunity, and I got to know about JP Morgan when it had come for uh, recruitment in my second year. So then and there, I applied for the JP Morgan, and I guess it was the very first company which had come for the recruitment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, what was the complete process? Like, is there any resume or short listing or any CGPA criteria? Can you please walk us through the complete process of application? Yeah, last year it was uh, their CG cut was of seven CGPA, and uh, we had three. There were three selection rounds. One was the coding round, and the second was the virtual interview round, and the third one was the hackathon round. The hackathon name is Code for Good Hackathon. which is conducted every year by JP Morgan to recruit interns and full time employees okay so like on the basis of cg first on the basis of cgpa they shortlist the students for the coding yeah. round ha okay. ah, and there is an internal round of resume shortlisting as well as told by the seniors okay so like what kind of questions were there in the online assessment only dsa questions or some mcq questions were also there there were only two da uh, two coding questions and we were given an hour to solve them and the level was of moderate easy to moderate level okay so there were two coding questions of medium level in the online assessment round hmm. and after that there is one interview round a virtual interview it was uh, an ai based interview in which okay. there were two questions behavioral questions and we were required to capture our answers record our answers and post it uh, on the hire the website okay so two behavioral question was any duration for that interview i guess it was of uh, we were required to record our answers for a minute uh, okay. the answer should be of 1 minute or 2 minute i guess i don't remember okay. our duration 
so then this was also an elimination round ai AI interview yeah ai based interview i guess and so what we need to do in the hack code for hackathon after that ai interview Uh, if you have cleared the interview then you get to uh, work on the hackathon round and in the hackathon round random teams are created of six members with uh, at least two mentors each are allotted and the mentors guide you and mentor you in your entire uh, hackathon journey and you are given a problem statement in which you have to uh, present a solution for the problem statement in less than 24 hours working with your team okay so we have to build a solution in 24 hours within 24 hours yes yeah okay so this was the final round yeah this was the final round after which the final uh, list of the interns came okay so in the uh, hackathon round did they give us problem statement or we can build up a solution on any problem statement according to us several ngos um, came up to jpmc every year and then jpmc shortlists some of the problem statements and then those problem statements are presented in front of us and in which we have to give our preference and based upon our preference we get a problem statement in which we have to work Uh, for building the solution okay that's great so this is completely a different hiring process which i have heard because generally i have heard that there is one online assessment and then followed by some round of interviews so this is completely a new hiring process by a hackathon because generally i have seen that after hackathon as well there is some kind of interviews they take but yeah. this is really good that they are shortlisting us based on our development skills yeah so, but during the hackathon they do take our interviews the mentors uh, I, in our team there were two mentors and both the mentors took our interview individually by uh, taking us into the breakout rooms and then okay. discussing about our uh, skills and projects which we had built so yeah okay. there were interviews conducted by the uh, mentors as well during the hackathon okay yeah. okay that's good so like the uh, all the members of the winning team got the internship or some members it was all rejected in the final as well from the um, there is no such criteria ki whether you win then you get the internship or if you don't win then you not be getting the internship there is no such criteria this is solely dependent upon your performance in the hackathon the mentor okay. judges your performance uh, during the hackathon that whether you are willing to work on the problem statement and how much effort you are putting in into the hackathon so it all depends upon the mentors and your relationship during that hackathon period okay so it was not necessary that all the students of a team got the internship yeah. it was yeah, we were uh, one of the top 3 finalists for our problem statement but still the majority of our team members got the internship offer okay that's great yeah. so like as you have mentioned in the starting that there was also a resume shortlisting down So how did you think that your resume was different from others because generally i have seen students saying that their resume didn't get shortlisted so what things were there in your resume that makes your resume stand out from others being in a uh, being in second year of your college uh, jp morgan doesn't expect very much from you as you are in your second year and uh, nothing big or uh, certain achievement you have must have established but still if they they kind of expect something that you know about coding and technologies like web dev or app dev any uh, certain uh, developments and uh, in my resume i did put uh, my strong points uh, above and my weak points below like i didn't have the experiences so i put my experiences section a little below and my project section little above so that the recruiter gets impressed easily within time so yeah i did this and there is okay that's great so uh, what do you think that jp mc is exactly looking for in a candidate um i would say jp mc or any other company is looking for in a candidate honesty and willingness to work uh, on the project assigned and the yeah this is the only thing that a company looks for in a candidate that uh, it is the candidate is loyal and uh, completes the work within the time within the deadline assigned this is the only thing 
Yeah, right. Because companies are looking for someone who is a good problem solver and can work on their projects. Nothing else. So, according to you, how important is DSA in an interview? DSA is very important in interviews and as well as coding round as it is the first and foremost thing which is asked. And based upon that, they judge your problem solving skills and creative thinking that how much creative and how much optimized uh, solution you can provide for the question given so this that is the very basic thing and the most important thing in the interviews of sd positions as well yeah right so according to you what are some things that a student should do and should not do in an interview the some things which a student should not do that is uh, they should not bluff about anything that they do not know they don't yeah, have the knowledge about um, yeah. like saying nay i know this also i know that technology also i can work yeah. this also this is not required and this is not uh, um, expected by the interviewers they expect uh, they expect loyalty and honesty from your side if you yeah, say right. i am not well equipped with this technology or with this skill then i'll work upon this i'll mm. surely bring in results good results uh, with due course of time so they respect Uh, they expect loyalty and uh, honesty from your side, and uh, this is the first thing. And should not, and they should not. There should be politeness in the interviews also, yeah, so yeah. that the um, recruiter is impressed by your communication skills as well. Hmm. Yeah, right. And we should be confident while answering our questions because if we are not confident about our uh, answers, be confident with whatever you know. Yeah, we confident about that things because uh, if you are not confident in how interview, I can just tell you that you will answer this correct. So we confident. Be confident with your projects as well. Yeah, whatever you have built, you should have thorough knowledge about it so that yeah, you can yeah. answer the questions that whatever difficulties had come across your way, you can answer mm-hmm. those questions. Yeah, we should properly go through our resume before the interview because sometimes happens that we have done a project a year ago or six months ago and we don't remember everything about that project. And the interviewer started asking about that project only, and then we got confused. So it should not happen because in a resume you are claiming that you know this thing and you have done this project. So you should know about the intricacies of that project. So that should not huh. happen. Yeah. And you can also make short notes for the project as well, so that you can go through them. What all yeah. difficulties you face in your way in building yeah. that project? Yeah, because in behavioral questions, we have been asked some questions like what difficulties you have faced, how yeah. you tackled them. If there is some conflict in your team project, then how did you tackle those conflict? So those kinds of questions were also really very important. This was And one of the question in my virtual interview. Okay. That happened. Yeah. Team conflict. How did you handle it? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, these kind of behavioral questions are also very important. And sometimes in the end of interview, interviewer asks us to, "Do you have any questions?" So sometimes we just want to end up the interview in the hurry that yeah, we are done done with this interview. So we, we should, should not- ask them some of the questions related to the company or the field we are going to work on. Yeah, we should not just in. We should ask some question because it just creates an impression that we are really, we are really interested. We are yeah. really interested and willing to work for that company. We can ask anything about the interview, like what is your work? Why do you think this company is good? Or what should I do before joining this company? So this creates a kind of positive impression on the interviewer. So yeah, these are some things, and one most important thing that we should not do is we should not take pressure and we should not lie in our interviews. Ah, Because lying on resume is not recommended. Yeah, that will obvious. That will mostly finish your interview. If interviewer asks something related to your lies, then yeah. So yeah, I think we have covered everything about JPMC interviews. and thank you so much shri for your time i hope this video helps a lot of students who are preparing for their interviews yeah so that's all thank you once again and have a good rest of the day bye shri thank bye. you so much for calling me here and yeah. uh, i got an opportunity to share my experiences of being an intern of getting interned in jpmc
थैंक यू वेरी मच बाय श्री बाय